Find something. Find a thing that you genuinely enjoy because getting good at things you genuinely enjoy is extremely beneficial for young people because it lets you know that, like, everybody thinks they're a loser. Every young person thinks they're a loser. At least a young person in the situation I was at. I didn't know I wasn't a loser until I started winning, until I started doing martial arts. Martial arts taught me that, like, I could get better at stuff, that it wasn't, I wasn't really a loser. I just was someone who was, like, in a fucked up situation. But you could channel all that energy that you have as a young person into something and get better at it. And then all of a sudden people admired me. I was like, this is crazy. So I went from being someone who was incredibly insecure and basically a failure to someone who was really successful with this one thing that was very dangerous that other people were scared of. And that gave me immense confidence and also a real understanding of the direct correlation between hard work and success. And also an understanding that you can't listen to people. Because even my parents didn't want me to do martial arts. They didn't want me to fight. They didn't want me to do stand up. It's like, you have to understand who you are. And then in the face of other people's either criticism or, you know, lack of faith in your ability to succeed, you push through and there's great benefit in that. And then you realize that you can kind of apply that to other things in life. You can apply that to critics, you can apply that to social media content. You can apply that to a lot of things. And I don't think people are happy if they don't have puzzles, and complex tasks, and things that are interesting to them. Whether it's an art project, or whether it's uh, learning something completely new like stand-up comedy. Like, doing things that are difficult is... It, it, it's as much of a nourishment of the mind as food is a nourishment of the body. I think you need things that, that are puzzling to you, where you have to find your own human potential in the difficulty of the task and, and work your way through things. At least for me and in my life, that has been a 100% constant I, I am a very happy person, and I have never had a moment where I'm not doing difficult shit. Give yourself something, an arduous, difficult task where you're challenged. Challenged mentally and challenged physically. One of the great things about being challenged physically is it's also mental. The people that don't understand that have never really been challenged physically. People that think that physical challenges are just like, just physical. It's just brute, grunt work. It's not. It, it's uh, emotional intelligence. It's understanding your desire to quit and, you know, conquering your inner bitch. All that stuff is it's mental. It's playing out inside your head. And there's a mental strength that you acquire from that that you can apply to intellectual pursuits. And the, the p people that don't think that are the people that haven't attempted them. And there's uh, an arrogance to people that only pursue intellectual exercises, only pursue intellectual things, and don't pursue anything physical. That the physical stuff is base, it's grunt work, it's primal, it's not necessary. I don't think that's accurate. For most people, I think you can really benefit from physical struggle, and you benefit from it in a mental way. And I think that is overlooked. That's unfortunately overlooked by academics.